Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangru cast with me, uh, Rangru, and today we are doing a 2v2 on a, a hell in a very small place, I believe. And this is a rather small place unless you count the rest of this stuff. So on the left hand side in blue, playing as Blueful, we got Sniper, Ron90, and Shamiu. And on the right hand side in red, playing as Red4, I was going to say Blue4, but yeah, it's a Finnish unit. We got a true politician, so he must be lying, and the son of Zion, who also must be lying. So we're going to speed things up and to get things going. So that's it, 2v2 we're doing, which we haven't really done run in an awful, in a while, I have to say. And from the name that they gave me on the replay site, this was just a random 2v2. These guys did not know each other. This is just people got together in a lobby. And Ray Rigo. And are we going to be seeing an early game nape? Because this seems to be an early game nape. Cheesy play from Sniper190. Going with the good old airland battle strategy. Of just, you know, burning the crap out of the enemy before they can get close. And oh. Oh, that's right on top. Good God. Oh, we're going to need a burn center on that. And he just comes in with a helicopter rush. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not even much of a helicopter rush. That's just like a dab of black hawk and a super cobra walked into a finished bar. But good god, there's no A8. There's the, there's the uh, Eris Garaki here. The finished SAS copycat, which is much better than the SAS. Jesus Christ, what a, what a one-two punch. I, I was not expecting that. Like, one thing is the napalm your opponent, the other thing is a follow-up of a helicopter attack. And it's not just a helicopter us, because he does have uh, reinforcements coming in to help secure the front. All the T-72s being fought back after losing quite a decent chunk of HP. And is he going to kill the, the recon? Oh, yes he does, and that's a, that's a pretty fantastic move. That was cheesy, we can all admit that. But uh, there wasn't really enough AA from True Politician, I think. Not just who down the plane, but to do it with the helicopters, because god damn, the rest of the front line's looking rather standard. Uh, Foxtrot and a run-run split, and Bravo, you know, we got guys in the town holding the point. Shasus, of all things. And we got the slow move of Eastern Block Infantry making their way across. So yeah, I, I wonder what can top the out. The opening gambit. And the great thing is, is that if you hold this right hand side of Gulf, it's super easy to defend. You got these towns for descent positions right here on choke points. And then from here you can plank into pop. It's 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 such a good move. And he has so much infantry supporting him in the backline Abrams. He has a very good defensive network as well. Phantom coming in for the second neighbor napalm run. I'm I am so impressed. And then Shamu supporting a bit in the top hand side of Foxtrot trying to clear up the northern flank. CS is in a good position to give cover and fire. And this uh, pretty much death blob ready to get under Bravo. He's got an ATS 17 firing on the AMX. And it just gets killed. I think. Really get killed? Yes, it does. And there we got more Tutans and grenade launcher guys, pretty much, with BMPs. Which, uh, unfortunately, the BMPs have been nerfed. And now 15 points, so uh, more Tutans are, are not as good anymore. Still good. Just, you know, cost a bit more money. It's much better to get the uh, Crotoletti now, if you have the Ugo Snap DLC. And it does seem like Son of Salaon is a true politician kind of gearing up an assault to retake Gov. 
And uh, yeah, Sniper didn't really set up. He really sort of got more infantry in here. Does happen with the top hand flank. I mean, yeah, it's some small noise in the edge of the town here. He just, he really just to get the guys into the yeah, town area. And hold the 50 runs, dropping into bombs. The other plane intercepting got shot down, and another plane over here, which I didn't catch the name of, did some shooting. And we got the two Finnish C-72s moving around top hand side. One does get sniped. And the other one moving down. And is this the expensive run or the cheapest run? Okay, that's the expensive run. It doesn't matter either of them got fantastic. But this flipping amazing cannon. Holy crap. And Sniper wanting some mortars. And uh, doesn't seem like any mortars are coming down here. And there's some of the is actually going to be able to retake his back. I'm kind of disappointed with Sniper's defense on the area. I mean, he, he, he had all the infantry and whatnot to defend the area, but he had them spread around from the top hand forest where the defensive location of the town didn't really matter. And he's going to be napalm in the tank once again. And we've got two M1 rogues covering fire on the bottom hand side. But it doesn't really matter because Sniper and Shamo is kind of very nice plus two point advantage because Fox Shot and Gof is under air control. And Hawk 51 dropping in more bombs. Yeah, it's a Dakar reducing Pew Pew. He treated one. <laughs> Doing a strafing run here. And it does escape, I think, I hope. Yeah, true politician managing to take his back. You know, the damage has already been done with this huge point lead. And Bravo, it seems like he moved back the forces or they just completely got killed, one or the other. Either way, they're not there anymore. And this is because even though if they do recapture Gulf, you know now Bravo is captured, so it's still going to be a plus two point advantage, uh, temporarily a plus three. Here we go. So a Redfall have uh, quite a lot of rag on the head of him. support coming in, you know, not exactly hitting anything. Yeah, the BMP-1 is doing some fantastic job here. Completely stunning up all the infantry to move through. I also find it funny how you use uh, 10 points while the mod shooting runs are 15. There's not too much of a difference, I believe. Maybe armor? No, it's still a three frontal armor. Hmm. And the 49 air sitting the BMP runs up. And yeah, it seems like Redfall pretty much managed to retake Gulf completely. They always do have two points to capture, or at least they need to at least capture one of them to gain the point advantage. Seems like Bravo is going to be our uh, choice of today right now. Quite a few more shoots. We've got some real uh, skirms along in the middle. And some modernities. That's actually quite a lot of tanks, I have to say. As Canadian rifles just get picked off out in the open. Uh, so in Bravo, actually doing rather well, more shooting, doing more shooting things, so you do have Panzer Grand 90 supporting, and rather scary Mortar 2s. I mean, Mortar 2s in the right position, or just, you, you don't, you don't, you don't mess with Mortar 2s. Modern again, a good snipe. And tank advantage definitely goes to red in the middle. 
You do have the cloak being brought up now, and I believe the cloak got a little bit buffed. I don't know if through Brighton. But it's still a fantastic tank. Just throw around a minute, Jesus Christ. What do we have? What do we have back here? We got a Mortrucian squad. And if he does make a break for it, he can kill the command infantry. The flag panther, I see the Mortar 2s in range. And that Panther Rich is gonna get shot down. And revealing the Mortrucian's position. Hopefully uh blue didn't notice. And we've got a longbow middle, which is, yeah, that's going to help an awful lot. Just sniping everything left, right, and center. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be any AA, Mr. Sniper, so your uh, your longbow did a pretty damn good job. And even got Patriots in the back line here. I think we've got two Patriots, actually. Do we have two Patriots? we got one. Yeah, just one Patriot, which is all you, all you really need. I mean, if that thing can shoot down a Scud missile, or almost, then god damn it, can shoot down a plane. And the command infantry is going to be moving them back. Commando power is going to be holding off the Mortuchin in rather spectacular fashion. Not even taking a loss, yeah. And Blue just in such a huge point lead. Now, the Redfall needs to do something. They need to get a CV and Foxtrot on the top hand side here just to neutralize the point and stop our point bleed. Because on top they have a very nice offensive force. We've got the tanks, we've got the infantry, we've got the recon. Uh, we got some AA as well, the Bucks. Shooting down that plane in rather spectacular fashion. Almost killing the infantry here. And there we go, AA. Indeed it is AA sniper. And indeed you are shooting it. And down below we got the second assault into Bravo, and that's not working all too well. Actually, the uh, Mortar 2 is coming into play, gets RPG, we got more reinforcements from Legion 90s. So I don't think that's going to end exactly great. And Sakari, Malinti, is making a break for it into the forest. Shooting up the s'mores and... Maybe the best bet is to get into Echo, where it's a risky maneuver, because... The enemy spawns here, they just have to go over here, but that's a plus two point sector, which is all so juicy. You know, the difficult part too is that you do have to cross a river and it's one, pretty much one short point to get in there. It's kind of limiting sorts of killing capabilities, or supply lines I mean. And we got just a black hole hanging out up here, just enjoying the mountain view. Just take a nice little zoom in off it. Completely unrelated to the actual battle, but yeah, it's a that's a pretty beautiful, that's a pretty nice view. And then a the plane comes into long, and they get shot down. I need to do more cinematic videos. This game is just I always say it's so bloody beautiful. Because it is. The Bucks are moving into a new position. After getting shot up. And we got some Yaha Pirates reinforcement to Fox Shot. Not exactly good as they were in the airline battle days where these guys were fantastic for a helicopter rush. But hey, you know, it's. They still got a bit of uh, scurviness inside them. Um, Nice to get shot down by a landlubber. And the uh, Redfall pretty content on holding to go, go from holding Foxtrot. Gaining that, well, it used to be gaining that plus one point advantage. But with 13 minutes left, that's, that's a lot of uh, that. That's a lot of meat you got to bring in before the time runs out. And I really do like how Sniper is putting down all these... Uh, Pretty much markers. I, I love I love seeing markers, not because it just shows that you're communicating, which you need to do in team games. But I I know <laughs> what what you're trying to mean, what you're doing from a replay sense. Because I I'm not a mind reader, unfortunately. You know, I, bet I can make some pretty good money if I was. We got a pretty nice attack here from Son of Zion. Just completely overwhelming the rest of the forces in Fortress. The clerk is not going to be enough. Against the Maltusian force. 
We've got Longbow getting into position, but it's mainly just a lot of infantry, so it's not going to be all that effective. And still, even with plus two point advantage on Foxtrot, it's, I don't think that's going to be enough to catch up. Or well, plus run. Here, yeah, plus run point advantage, huh? And moving to Echo now doesn't exactly seem date. We got great. We got two HA Abrams covering the bridge. These guys just got naped to crap and back in Abrams. They're going to be moving up, getting a few snipes. A few shooty, shooty, bang, bangs. T72 could definitely help out neutralizing Bravo, but how long it'll stay alive in the forest, who, who knows? And we got a counter attack from Blue, Mano Paris, and Panzergrenz. And we got Mortis hitting up Roland, forcing him to retreat. As they have to move back to a better position. Yeah, there we go. Plus two point advantage. Bravo neutralized. Six minutes left, yo. That's that's a bit too tight for my liking. It really it, they they even need to kill the C V in Bravo to get a plus three. Like right now. Or somehow kill the C V and Echo. And we got smoke on the water <laughs> quite literally. I'm I'm sorry for all the bad jokes. I can't help it. Blocking line of sight. SU-24s and geez Louise, here comes the finished strafing runs. Almost killing the page. That's in almost in terms they almost hit it, but it didn't do any damage. And damn, that was that's a rather big alpha strike here. And they do get the CV in Bravo, which is the big thing now. And they're gaining the very important plus three lead. Blue Fall's biggest worry is to get another CV into Bravo too. Oh, to point down, that's exactly what they're doing. So damn, this is going to be tight. This is going to be pretty damn tight. Make sure anyone going in for the strafes. No AA in sight. We've got a counter-attack here into Foxtrot. Oh, they're kind of running into a choke point as Panzer Jakaris shoot them from the thingy. And I'm just going to take a guess. I'm not, I don't speak Finnish. But I'm wondering if that name, if you finish or you actually know, it's like Panzer Infantry. That's just my interpretation. Finnish is a pretty hard language. But still gaining that very nice plus three point advantage. It seems like the Command Infantry got shot down before it could make it rain to Bravo. Where it definitely helps out, every little help. Son of Zion left the game. Maybe he thought, you know, it couldn't be run in three minutes. But, he's going to be leaving it to the politician. I guess it's kind of a good thing, because it's going to allow a politician to just get more planes. And Is he going to kill CV and Echo? I mean, he does have it marked. Yeah, we do have, yeah, we have two CVs and Echo yeah, they're right next to each other. Might be a good idea to move this guy up top. But I really do like that forward thinking from Bluefall. Having a second command infantry and Echo just in case it does get sniped because, you know, every little helps. Help, every little helps for the politician. But, we're only one minute left. I don't think this is going to be in his favour. There we go. On a final rocket barrage, just doesn't kill the command vehicle, and that yeah, is going to be a good game for Blue Four taking the point advantage by around 900 or 90 odd Congress points and a kill advantage. Red Four actually get a lot of kills in the end. I'm guessing it's due to all those bombing runs, but uh, Sniper was MVP of that match. Just that, that goddamn, I don't even want to call out a true helicopter rush because it was three helicopters and a phantom. The helicopter rush would have to be like, you know, summer tournament, Lynx A87, blowpipes, infantry, and everything. So, more of a helicopter assault. And that helicopter assault just it, it allowed them to secure the top hand side for a pretty damn long time. They did need to defend it a bit better. They could have held on to that for a lot longer if they actually just kept the infantry in the towns and got proper ATGM guys into position to hold both choke points but it doesn't matter they still run the match the point advantage 
from that early game aggression helped and um politician and son of Zion did a very good counter attack they could have run that match if maybe they got their assault on sooner i believe at some point echo would have been a rather smart choice to attack but they just say they, they bled a lot during the early game and that's what killed them in the end and i'm gonna leave it off yeah it's just been enough rangaroo cast i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as usual please just take it easy